I would never do that. All right, guys. Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft on Magic Online. The stipulation for this draft is drafting all the Planeswalkers. So we're gonna we're gonna prioritize fixing and Planeswalkers highly here. We're doing that. Yeah, we're gonna draft all the Planeswalkers. When was this discussed? While you were gone for twenty minutes. <sighs> okay. Okay, so halfway through, Batman Who Laughs discovers all the other universes and starts going after them now. Okay. Um, I think it's... Why, why don't you want to draft all the Planeswalkers? They're Planeswalkers. That's like a, such a cool stipulation. Meh. Really? Meh. Vraska or Lily? Probably with the Vraska, right? Well, it only costs three, though. Yeah, but Vraska does cooler things. I guess. God, you are no... You are like... What a stick in the mud. Yeah, show that pinky. Perfect timing, since we're talking about DC, you're drafting Super Friends. Is it Lily over Vraska? I think so. I bet this table is, to be quite honest. So we're going to also uh, prioritize fixing highly. That's a good Gideon. That is one of the better Gideons, I agree with you. Also, I'm hoping that we get... Um, Oath of Nyssa, because that would really tie the deck together. And if you guys haven't done so, please feel free to subscribe. Uh, that helps me out a ton. And uh, you guys are awesome, and I love you. I'm going to pick this Gideon, because we have to. It's the stipulation. This is the no art stipulation. <laughs> it is the no art stipulation. Oh, God. You always have to take the Planeswalker? Well, there's no Planeswalker in this pack. No, there is. There's a Duretti Oh, right there. God. Duretti is really bad, though. That totally doesn't count. It's got to be treachery, right? Yeah, it's treachery, 100%. <laughs> God, it's a stipulation. It's so bad. It's just, it's just, it's awful. It does nothing. Like, you have to build your whole deck around it. It so does, yeah, no, little, but no, the plus two, you don't have to do that. You can discard, like, Planeswalkers you can't cast and draw two cards. Yeah, but everything else is useless. I mean, it's a Planeswalker, it's really man. Take the treachery. We, it's a stipulation. We got to take the stipulation card, Michael. <sighs> I like winning drafts. Oh, a Scrubland. I like a Scrubland. I like winning drafts too, but like, don't do a stipulation if you know if you're if you're that committed to just winning the draft instead. He's so bad though. Ugh. Yeah, but there's gonna be packs with no planeswalkers like this, you know, and then we can just pick an artifact really high. Whatever. Well, I feel like that last pack counted as a no planeswalker <laughs> pack. It had a planeswalker he's in it. Really bad. You making me sad. He's really bad. You're making me sad. Actually, Liliana Death, Death's Majesty is good. Why doesn't this Emrakul have art, but this Liliana does? Who knows? First pack, the stipulation is Planeswalkers. Third pack, fire stipulation fire? I don't know what that means. Mike does need to spend some time with Mama in the kitchen with onions. What is Whatever this that means. Can we look that up? I need to know what it is. Is it cliffs or is it swords? It's got to be cliffs, right? So far, we're really only black white. Michael Barbobli, I've seen all your YouTubes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. What'd you say? What'd you say? Uh, we're not really red yet. We are, because we've got to play. But no, we don't have to play them all. We just have to draft them. I guess that's fair. No one has to to play them all. But we, I have to assume we'll get another red Planeswalkers. How many red Planeswalkers even are there? Chandra's... Uh, Zingzum. Zingzum. Xenagos? <laughs> that is what I was going for, but I forgot his name. So whatever, man. Shut up. Look, Koth. Oh, God. <laughs> Koth is so bad. How many uh, mountains are we going to be playing? Like, well, I mean, according to your stipulation, we have to take every Planeswalker. So take him and shake him. Oh, my God. Chad, is this a 60 on steak photo? Oh, my God, dude. It's delicious. Chad, how are you still alive, man? Oh, is that mac and cheese in the background? Wow, that is... Where can I get that? Man, you are big timing, bro. Is it, It's got to be this, right? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, I like a Vindicate. Goes well with our scrub land. All right, see, now we got no Planeswalker. So Vampire Nighthawk... Nevin rules. This could be good because it doesn't hit planeswalkers. Actually, 
Yeah, that's pretty good. That's actually real good. Michael, don't take my car to come away. Oh, you shared it three ways. Okay, that's significantly different. If you had a 60-ounce steak all to yourself, I... Th I still... That's still 20 ounces a person. That's a good... Even, th even divided in three, that's a lot. Yeah. You go to a steak place and they're like, would you like the six ounce or the eight ounce? And you're just Truffle like... Truffle mac and cheese? Ooh, boy. Getting fancy. Six ounce or eight ounce? Uh, 60 ounce, please. I'm sorry, what? Um, Give me the 60 ounces now. Excuse me? I think our deck looks great, except for these two red planeswalkers. Ooh, concealed courtyard. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, Duretti does bring back the disc. True. No, I don't take my... Cro oh, tendrils. Storm confirmed. I think it might be this guy. Meh. We can search for a scrub land. Yeah, I guess so. Or any other planes if I we get a... I think we're going to have double white back consistently. We have two lands that have white already. Yeah, but they're like... There's a good chance we're playing multiple colors. Oh, why are you like this? Who's NL? I don't know what that means. Oh, uh, that stands for the Netherlands. Who is the Netherlands? I don't like Thalia because... Um, Four uh, pounds of steak, Jesus. Obvious reasons. I don't know what the, the pick is, though. Um, Siege Gang. Yeah. Copperline Gorge is Future fine. Gang. I'm sorry, what? Gucci Gang Commander. <laughs> Gucci Gang Commander. Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. I'll take Ancient Grudge. Oh, Banisher Priest? All right. Oh, Mox Jet. But there's a Planeswalker. Mm-hmm. See? He done messed up a Aaron. I'm uncomfortable. I feel like we have to take the jet here. We can't by the stipulation. I mean, if we want to win, we take the jet. We're not even blue. This is terrible. I think yeah, power. I think power is exempt from the the stipulation. Like it's just. Oh, Chad, it's, it is Chad's birthday. Dorothy Boy allows it. Oh, okay. That's fair. Seems fair. Power always breaks stipulation. Everyone knows it's okay to draft power. Okay, cool. As long as you guys are okay with it. Any Planeswalkers? No. I like when there's actually no Planeswalkers because I'm like, ooh, I get a free pick. What is it? What are we taking? Portal? I do like Portal, but I worry about our concentration of four drops. I think it might just be Volcanic Island. Alright. I can settle for that. Passing power makes Jesus cry. <laughs> You're not even subscribed, you liar. Uh, planeswalker. No Planeswalker again. Bird of Paradise, but I don't know how green we are. Not very. Dismember? Hangerback Walker? Ain't no hanger back, Walker. I like Parallax Wave. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. You don't like hanger back, Walker, because we have Duretti already? I guess we could spaghetti with the Duretti. <laughs> Parallax Wave is great, but I don't think this is the deck for it. Usually you want Parallax Wave to like get rid of their two blockers and then Alpha. But, like, it's just going to die. And we're not going to really take advantage of what it's doing. A braid is also an option, actually. A braid or hangerback walker. Nifty Chris, you did sub. God, I love you so much, man. You're my favorite Chris ever. Don't tell she Chris I said that. I'll just take hangerback. I think it's more of a... Oh, Fraley's? Nickel Bolas. Old Nicky B. I do like a Nicky B. Let the chat decide. Is it Nicobolus or Fraley's? What do you guys think? It's not even close. Oh. It is a walker. Oh. Huh? I 
I'm sub now. Stipulation still broken. Unsub. <laughs> oh, Chris. Chris. It's literally all Nikki Bolas. If we can get Badlands or Plateau back. Plateau? Plateau. <laughs> One plus plot two is plot two. That was terrible. <laughs> I loved, I loved hearing you struggle through it the entire time. God, I really want an oath of Nissa for this deck. Um. Oh, mana flare actually could be good. Way too scary. I never want to play that card. Why? Because you're just giving your opponents infinite mana. Yeah, it's like all right. I tapped out. Now you can have your fun. Mama don't take my code of chrome. Mama don't take my code of chrome. Mama don't. Chrome mocks, maybe? It might be a chrome mock deck. It might be. It could be a Blightsteel Colossus deck. It's not a Blightsteel Colossus deck. I'm going to pick up a Tinker. Uh, Blightsteel is never getting reanimated with Doretti. It never goes to the graveyard. I'll take the Chromox because I actually think that could be the pick. I also don't mind Living Death. They have like no creatures. Right, but it kills theirs, which is really the important part. Oh, I got a Garrick Relentless, I guess. I mean, it's our only option, so. I guess we'll take it. This is a stipulation draft. Yes, we're taking all the Planeswalkers. If there's a Planeswalker in the pack, we have to take a Planeswalker. Power is exempt from the, the stipulation. <laughs> You're laughing at the in, the in the Kitchen with Onion. Yes. Hey, does anyone know where Mama is? <laughs> this is not a song, right? Mama in the Kitchen with Onions? Let's look it up. There's no way that's a real song. Um, I'm actually glad there's no... I like Neil Spires here. Yeah. The white and the red is relevant. Mama in the Kitchen with Onions... I don't think this is a real song. I'd rather put in the. Yeah, because Google doesn't need you to put in. The. Mom in the kitchen with onions. This is definitely not a song. Hold on. Reaping Wild Oats, what did you find? Oh, that's so loud. Stephen Malkwick and the Jicks? Mom is in the kitchen with onions. What? <laughs> tipping on my birthday so that I'm on the tip list. Yeah, that's a good that's a good reason. Oh, see, this is why we should have taken the uh the red red white land. I also want both of these, but whatever. It's gotta be Chandra. Chad, thank you so much, man. You are awesome. It's your birthday and you tipped me. That's uh, actually ridiculous. I love you, buddy. I'm just taking Chandra. It's like Lucy in the sky with diamonds, but Mama in the kitchen with onions. Mama's in the kitchen with onions, onions. Mama's in the kitchen with onions. Yeah, just take Basically, the stipulation is take every planeswalker in the pack, then take every land you see. Yeah, basically. But I think we're doing well as far as that goes. I actually don't think this deck looks that bad, especially with a Mox Jet and a Chrome Mox. It's certainly a pile. Okay, Frank Lowe's got shot. Is it just a meme now? Because you can't possibly be this upset, obsessed with uh, me playing Mono Blue Tron. Like, there's just no way. Ooh, Brain Freeze. <laughs> oh. We could have had Brain Freeze and Tendrils. Does Necromancy any graveyard? Yes. Maybe that's the pick. Or Fletcher Mage. Target creature card from a graveyard on the battlefield. Grouch86 with the sub. Thank you so much, man. Welcome to the Soul Tie Brood. Or you said Reflector Mage? Mm -hmm. We don't have any blue, though. Yet. I'd rather just take... I think Necromancy is just a better card. Birds of Paradise? Hard to cast. Um, Right now it is. We do have Gorge and Blooming Marsh. I think it's actually fine. I think it's better than the other cards. I just remember, but what is? I don't think we just... We don't just need it. We have Banisher, Vindicate, Liliana... Nevenrill's Disc. Garuk. Swords. I didn't even, I didn't, oh, Huntmaster. That's a good dude. Painful Truths and Blade, Blade Spice. So this, is, this pick is actually very good. What do you think? I like Hunty. Crouch, thank you so much, buddy. Uh Oh, Mode actually could have been good because we got Planeswalkers. What did you say? No, you like what? Hunty. <laughs> Me too.
Eh, actually, both of those, all those are pretty good. All right. No Planeswalker. How good is Blundstein Meyer for us? How good is Bribery? Hard to cash. I mean, I'd probably take Orzhov Signet over Bloodstained Mire. Really? You wouldn't? You don't think so? Really? <laughs> God. It depends on how many things it fetches. I mean, we get Scrubland and Volcanic Island right now. That's pretty good. No, we can't. Yeah, we, yeah, we do. So we get four colors. This is two colors, though. <laughs> Bribery could be a Planeswalker. Why do we have Necromancy? Because it's a good card. Double blue is a little bit off-putting to me, though. This is really good, though. This does work with uh, Duretti, though. I don't think we should focus too hard on getting Duretti to work. I think ramping to four is pretty relevant, though. Land tax could also be good. Why is Mama in the kitchen with onions so unbelievable? Frank, did your Mama never... Did your Mama never in the kitchen with onions? <laughs> I want to take Signet because I don't feel like leaning on blue that heavily, unfortunately. Oh, Gideon Jura, Nissa World Waker. Okay. I like Jura. I do too. Jura man or Jura? Especially because we're not going to have a lot of forests, so. Yeah, that seems fine. What did you say to me? Chad, but I bet Did not say that. You, you thought it. I like Jackal Pup because I like dogs. <laughs> I too like dogs, but um, I'm probably not going to take a Jackal Pup, unfortunately. Michael's in the Your kitchen with is onions puppy, puppy on. Dog eyes. Yeah, we know Puppy Dog Eyes. We go way back. How far back? Like a year, like 10 years. I was born knowing Puppy Dog Eyes. Brindlelight can't get Planeswalkers, right? It's instant. It's sorcery creature or instant, right? Yeah, Dang. that's stupid. That'd be so good. That'd be real good. That'd be great for us. Really? Moldrifter? I guess, but we don't have to wait. Like, we only have Volcanic... Volcanic Island is our only blue source. Mm. So it's forcible then, right? <laughs> I see what you did there. It's got to be Tooth and Nail, right? The actual pick is Anguish on Make. We can search for Bird and, uh, I guess just, any, I guess the rest We of can it. search for a bird. <sighs> I think it is the Anguish on Making, right? Yeah. Vindicate, part two. What are you putting that in the Ooh. sideboard for, man? Ooh, girl. I, I want this Savannah, but it's got to be an Elspeth, which I'm okay with. God. Baby Jace. Oh, Baby Jace is right, but we have no blue. We're not that green. I guess we're kind of green. Yeah, we're kind of green, but but we have a bird, which helps us be more green. What do you guys think? Is it Garrick or is it Jace? And hopefully, like, the Signet comes back. I don't think it will. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not in your wildest dreams. Three cards come back from this pack. Palancron, Revoker, Elves of Dew Shadows. Really? You don't think Skin Render? I'm going to say Palacron or Roker Skin Render. Yeah, I think it's Garrick too. Even though Triple Green is pretty brutal. Oh, less brutal. Marsh Flats seems pretty good. Also Rakdos Signet. Uh, Marsh Flats, it gets us Plain... Well, Scrubland. It just gets us Scrubland. Oh, not that good though. Yeah. So I think it's actually Razor. Ah, but this one isn't like tapped after a certain point. And the Savannah could come back. Puppy Dog Eyes. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. You are awesome. Is it Rakdos Signet? Hey, made my night. You still look like Beast from X Men if he was a dad. <laughs> That's the kind of dad I want. What does that even mean? I think it's Rakdos Signet, actually. We don't have a lot of two drops. And if we go turn to Rakdos Signet, it lets us actually cast Knight a little easier because then we can wait. I don't know. I like what? Rakdos. I don't know. Don't listen. What? Oh, Gruul Signet. Gruul Signet. Gruul uh. Wait, what are you saying? What? Should I take it to land? No, no, no. I was, I was confused on how it's going to help us cast Knight of the White Orchid. Oh, no, no, no. Because it lets us play it. Like, if we skip a turn, 
Uh, we can play oh, the Rakdos true, okay. instead of a land and not be behind on lands and you. wait for them to play their third land. Then we can go guy. Because I just assume you were like, for the colors, I'm like, that's not no. going to cast them. But, um, I hope Bob Bob's cleric dies. What's up, man? Lovell, you're vintage Rhapsody done. I'm pretty sure I've watched every single one of them in entirety. Especially love the Storm deck with the Rack. That deck was awesome as a win con. Keep it up. Manate, <laughs> any thoughts on the new Chupacabra from Rivals of Ixalan that terminates a... Oh, that guy sounds amazing. Yeah, that guy's good. Especially because it hits any creature. It, it It's not a non-black creature. It's not uh, a non-artifact creature. It's always... It's just kill a creature no matter what. And that that is huge. I also love how they have the same exact card that's not a creature in the set. That's pretty good. What is it? There's just a removal spell for four that's not a creature. Really? Yeah. It's really dumb. Is it uncommon? I think so. Well, it's Raging Ravine, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Oh, land tax came back? All right. Or is it Abrupt Decay? Nah, land tax. Okay. But Abrupt Decay can kill land tax. Huh? I don't I don't know what that means. I'm playing a land tax, man. Sun Titan. More like Dumb Titan. Sun Titan gets back a Liliana and a Banisher Priest and a Knight of the White Orchid. And Cygnus of the Die. That's just the best card in this pack, too. So, um, Archangel of Thune is fine. Yeah. You can take Relic Order. We don't have an enchantment answer. I'll say take Relic Order. Oh, we have Vindicate and Anguish on Making, I guess. Yeah, take the Angel. Okay. Oh, that's what we were hoping for. Yeah, that's really good. Was really hoping that would come back. And why is that land tax on our sideboard, man? Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. So only Skin Render came back? Huh. Yogmoss Will and Baneslayer Angel are... What in the earth? I guess we'll take Baneslayer. Look how he... Come on. Nice. Look how these good angels on our sideboard. Ooh, and Tomb? That actually could be good for us, depending on what we open. That was the third pack. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we already no know... What, we already know what we opened, buddy. Cut that Garouk. I don't like Disc anymore passing. because it kills all of our Signets. True. So we can board that in if we need to. These are also... This is 23 right here. I don't think I cut the group. We have so much fixing. One, two, three, four, five. We have five green sources in our fixing. Plus a bird and a gruel signet. And a land tax. That's not even including land tax. We're currently not playing land tax, right? Right. Also, we get to ramp the nickel bolus. That's pretty, that's pretty baller. Necromancy is not really that good for us. Why do you like this? I think Necromancy should be upgraded to an Anguish of Making. I agree with you. Um, I also think we can cut the Duretti. Yeah. And I think we can bring in uh, Anguish on Making. Koth. What about Baneslayer Angel? You want to yes. bring in Koth? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, because I was like... What? No. It's either Land Tax or Baneslayer Angel, I think. Cut Bolus? Krishan, you have to be kidding, Not right? Not your wildest dreams, buddy. I can't tell. Like Some people like making that joke, but... I don't think it's worth cutting red when we have Huntmaster, Siege Gang, and Chandra. They're just they're just too good, and like our, we have Volcanic oh, Island, fixing. Raging Ravine, Needle, and Copperline Gorge already. Yeah. So, I mean, our fixing is also two of our signets make red. There's just no benefit to to cutting red. Double red is a little rough, but... Them's the breaks. There you go. I'll make the top cards a little bigger for you guys. Maybe just play a bunch of lands. Just play it like this. I don't think we need 18 lands, though. Not with three signets, man. We're just going to get flooded if we do that. Put the Bane Slayer Angel. I think it's unbeatable. I agree. Baneslayer is pretty unbeatable. And we also have Liliana to get it back. Welcome back. Is there anything we can get with Sun Titan that we're not that we're missing? I do like land tax, but if I put land tax in, I'm probably going to play 15 lands in a Mox Jet. Ancient Grudge is also... Dece. I don't like taking Siege Gang Commander out, really. I think it's just a strong play. It does a lot of blocking. It can shoot uh, like relevant creatures down, like Goblin Welder or something. Cut bolus on Planeswalker deck. I don't know what those words mean together exactly. Yeah, that's a weird sentence. I didn't really understand it either. 
I do like that Sun Titan can get back uh, necromancy. Meh. <laughs> Meh, he says. Also, it does kill their... It, it, like, if we Vindicate or Anguished on making one of their... Well, not Anguished on making, but if we Vindicate or Liliana, one of their guys, it does... We can just steal it. Hmm. Clearly, you don't like that. Like Slayer. I, I, I like Bane Slayer, Birth, too. A birthday boy says Bane. We gotta go with the birthday boy. I don't think White White on turn two is that optimistic. We have one, two, three. We have five lands that produce white. And we don't actually need it on turn two. We can get it on turn three or four. Like, it's whenever is fine. But being able to search for Savannah or Scrubland is pretty relevant. It's also another dude to get back with Sun Titan. I do like land tax, and I think if we play land tax, we can only play, we can play 16 sources, especially with three signets. I think that's what we're going to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's, all, that's a good number of lands. And we're going to put one of each basic in because land tax. Um, so, white sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, seven white sources, not including signets. It's actually sort by color, which is, white is our, our, our main color too, so... Green sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, not including signets. So Garrick is a little greedy, but I think it's fine. So seven sources with signets. Uh, red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven with signets. It's a lot of red. But double red, double red. Yeah, but it is, but like this is our bare minimum. Do we just not play this at the mountain? Do we play a forest over the mountain? I think so. Hmm. I like having a mountain, though. We'll see what our other colors are first. Uh, black is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven black. Seems fine. Funny. Blue is one, two. That seems fine. We'll just grab the blue. We only, we only have one blue card, so it's whatever. Yeah, I like this. We have no way to search for red. One, two, three, four. And we only have six red sources outside of searching for red. Just play... 41? 41. Yeah. I like 41 with land tax, actually. That seems fine. All right. This deck looks pretty sweet. P-sweet, as the kids say. This guy is going to go right here. All right. Cool. Let's do it. And our sideboard is not bad. We got Ancient Grudge and Song of the Dryads, so... All right, let's do it. You ready? No. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. You remember that? No. Yeah, you do. Man, do. Wow. Oh, yeah, we also have bird. We didn't actually account for bird in any of those costs, so. I actually like this hand. We can anger stone making. We got a Gideon coming down the pipe. Keep it. Turn one land tax. Yeah, so I think we have like nine green sources now. Got Savannah, Raging Marine, Gorge, Blooming Marsh, two forests, Gruel Signet, seven uh, birds, which is eight. And maybe one other land that I may have forgotten about. Oh, did we play Razor Verge Ticket? Do we have a Razor Verge Ticket too? Yeah. I think so. Maybe not. Whatever, man. I don't want to hear it. What if you do want to hear it? I, I, maybe I do. Not want that. An eight mana card that does nothing. Why are you like this? This is definitely a keep. Like we have to mulligan into a hand that's better. Like if we take away the the nickel bolus, right? We have to mulligan into a hand that's better than the hand without nickel bolus. And I think the hand without nickel bolus is fine. Oh, Rish card with one counter. Okay. Rish okay. Gar, Hogar. <laughs> it's, it's actually real funny. Oh, that's a good draw if we had a red. <laughs> oh, boy. What do we get rid of here? The Summon Library? The Rish card? Library. Is 
having them both with four spike. That's what I was, yeah, that's what I was going for there. So if we draw a black or a red, uh, we're in real good shape. If we draw any other land, we're in good shape. So basically any land here is good for us. And if they if they attack with Rishkar or tap it, yeah, we can just kill it with Gideon, which is kind of sweet. That's a good one. Land. That was pretty good. And then uh, Gideon actually goes to four, so the beast can't kill it. Nikki B does get a lot of hate in these drafts. I think I have to assume some of them are trolling, but still. It hurts my feelings. Amazing the time I first storm I get past the 14th pick Ashiok. <laughs> Ashiok is good in storm. I think. No. I mean it's good in storm in the fact that I would play it because the deck uses blue and black. No. What do you mean no? No. Talk to me like this. No. I'll kill you. Oh, put my Gideon to one, huh? Come on, red mana or second black mana. Skin render, target your own. Oh, wow, that was rude. Well, come on, red mana. It's actually Not great. Really? We play Garrick, we kill their beast, and then we kill their Garrick? Or we may just make a beast and block. That's actually, I think that's fine. Unless they have Sword Supply shares here. Oh god, they're going to Path to Exile our... Yeah, they get us a red. Not the worst. I only said that because I wanted them to Path it and not Swords it, so... Yeah, swords would be pretty bad. One, two... I think we just make a Wolf here. Yeah. But if they kill it, then we lose... Well, if they draw a land, they get to kill Garrick. Whatever, it's Wolf. Yeah, Gideon has killed Garrick and Rishkar so far. Pretty good. Because if they spend their turn killing our Wolf, then they can only kill Garrick or Gideon. They can't do both, so... I'm pretty sure we put a Mountain back in the deck. Yeah, we put a Mountain back in the deck and went to 41 cards. Yeah. Because we didn't want to be uh, out, out a mountain, out the ability to search. Oh, one hundred percent block. Got him. We didn't really get him. We just kind of blocked. Got him. Okay, you're right. Kill the beast while it's wounded, Carl Urban, or you'll never see Underverse. What is that from? Oh, you vindicated our Gideon anyway. That's cool. Rude. Oh, that's I gotta I gotta I gotta vindicate too. My my Nate. <laughs> what do we do here? Make a beast. What do we kill here with the Vindicate? It's a beast. Really? We don't kill the, the Stirring Wildwood, their one white source? Mm. Yeah, that's pretty good. How would I know? Would I look like a doctor or something? Are you a doctor? No. Everyone agrees. It was it was stirring Wildwood. Oh, they drew a planes. How nice. I will block. I will constantly block. Any red source, we can play Huntmaster and make a 2-2. We can just make beasts or uh, wolves for days. Puppers for days. Garrick was two lands. Rishkar was one land. And stirring Wildwood was one land. So we actually denied them four mana so far. Which is pretty good. It's a pretty good boss. It's a, it's a pretty good boss. Maddie Cat with the sub. Thank you so much, man. Welcome to the Soul Tie Bird. Also, if you guys have sub time, be sure to uh, connect your Twitch and Discord accounts because you're invited to the uh, subscriber Discord channel, which is awesome. Even Mike Barbobliboo uh, shows up sometimes. And we talk about stuff like pizza. Pizza? And kitty cats. Pizza and kitty cats. Huh? Oh, that was a good. Well, had to come and play tap, didn't it? 
Hmm, that was unfortunate. Maybe now we just trade with the beast. Yeah, because it's going to die anyway. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. I would actually take Black Source land in, in, that, in that order. It actually goes one, two, buckle my shoe, three, four, shut the door. Eric the Face, 14 months sub. Thank you so much, dude. Always with the subbing. All right, well, that's also fine. I I'll accept that. Because if we draw any more, any more black sources, we get to play Nick Bolas next turn. And then we get to steal their Tassiger and activate it. Which is a pretty okay, if you ask me. I didn't ask you. I don't, I don't care. Don't activate this guy. You can't actually. Oh, yeah, you can. You got double green. I will give you... Lotus Cobra, because that is what I care about the least. Remember that time I was like, don't do this, and you were like, he can do it, you dummy. I was rude. Because this one steals Nicol Bolas, this one kills Nicol Bolas, this one discards Nicol Bolas. None of those are ideal. Come on, scrub land off the top. I'm just going to block you. Oof. Interesting. Play your Lotus Cobra, too. Okay. I have two cards. Black Source. Oh, my God. Twice you're going to mess with this? I guess this guy does flip when we get to kill the Lotus Cobra. That's pretty cool. It's not bad. And we do get to kill... I, I just said that. <laughs> and we do get to cast Nicol Bolas next turn is really what I meant. Choose target opponent, you, and I'll choose this tiny gentleman here. So Nicobola steals Tassiger. He goes to three, and then he takes one from Bitter Blossom, I guess. Oh, don't do something broken. Oh, come on. Don't do that. Oh, you're making a mess. Well, that's unfortunate. What happened to mom's little baby? Uh, she loves she's in the kitchen cooking onions. Her little baby? Moat doesn't seem that great when they have uh, fairy rogues in play. I mean, this is a no-brainer. But do we, what do we do? Do we steal a guy? Could just destroy one of his planes augers. So Nicobolus will go to five, six, seven, eight. Only really has five power. Maddie Cat with a $25 sub? What in the earth? Thank you so much, man. You are insane. Ooh. What a maniac. We just blow up his bitter boss in here. We could, but like... Seems really good, actually. Isn't it better to just blow up the Vraska, though? Why? Because this is going to make two twos every turn. This makes one ones every turn. Oh, sure. Plus, this does other things. We could also just steal Tassiger. And... Like that Tassiger doesn't do anything for us. It draws us cards. Yeah, but like... They have to give us anything in our graveyard back, which is just all bombs, because we drafted bombs. And it's a 4-5, which just is attack Vraska next turn, or it keeps their, their pirates at bay. And then next turn, we can just blow up one of these. We could do the same thing either way, because we could just blow up something this turn and then take Tassiger. Right, but we take a hit, and they, we let them potentially draw another card. Yeah. I'd rather just steal Tassiger. And we also have Raging Green to attack next turn. Nicobolus can take one. Michael's little baby loves shortening, shortening. Michael's little baby loves shortening bread. Do 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 do. Michael's little baby. It's true. He loves shortening bread, chopping onions in the kitchen. Oh, they killed their own Tassiger. See, look, well, then we got rid of Tassiger and Vraska. That's a deal, my friend. Manate. Manate. And now we get to kill their Bitter Blossom and go to four. Do you understand what's happening right now? No. Nicobolus. Oh, go to five, actually, because one of these dudes had summoning sickness, as the kids call it. Plus, we can play anything we draw, pretty much. I'm pretty sure 100% we can. Yeah, Nicol Bolas killed Tassiger and Vraska and still lived. 
That's pretty insane. And he's like, now I'm going to kill Bitter Blossom. And if they had something to kill ta to, to kill Nicobolus, they would have not have attacked him with... No, oh, that's... <laughs> we can cast it. <laughs> you know, you're not wrong. I guess we attack here for like a million, right? Or four. Eh, it's whatever. I don't need your sass, bro. You're going to get it anyway. Yeah, you're right. See, you played Nicobolus and the game is still going. It does nothing. I guess you're right. No, oh, I guess you're right. This is where they play uh, Zealous Conscripts off of their treasure and steal Nicobolus. That wouldn't even do anything, I guess, because... They'd kill our Raging Ravine. They'd probably just kill their own... Oh, <laughs> get punished. I mean, they'd probably just use Nicobolus to kill itself, I would imagine. Oh, Wow. pretty good draw that's frustrating oh you guys can go face if you'd like no okay well that changes the game significantly yeah we're top decking it's not a good time ooh this is a good one yeah I think we're just dead here I'm going to hold this, actually. Little one? No, we blocked this guy with Raging Green. But, I mean, it leaves us in a bad position against two 3-3 three, three fairies, which is unfortunate. Sure. Actually, yeah, we probably should have attacked. I guess they either have to block or they would have went to uh, the 4. Come on, Baneslayer Angel. One time. That'd be so good. Actually, I think we have a bunch of outs. Liliana's a good out. Kills one of their guys. Actually, it's yeah, yeah, it's still fine. It's not great. Baneslayer Angel is supreme. Wow. Oh, that's so good. They can't activate it though. Okay, well, that was a fun game. <sighs> Virtuous Gear Hulk, unfortunately. So what did we see? Tidehole Sculler, Vraska, Bitter Blossom. Just a bunch of junk stuff. Yeah, and like I'm not super impressed by any of those things. Chandra would have been great too, negative three. Hmm. What would have been good there? Swords would have been fine. It would have kept us alive before the, uh, the guy. Banisher Priest would have been good. Liliana would have been good. Um, Siege Gang probably not great Bane Slayer would have been good Chandra would have been good Sun Killing Titan Shortnail would have been good Sun Titan would have gotten back nothing I guess yeah Sun Titan's actually not that great in their deck I think it's fine it gets back Banisher Priest Liliana gets back uh, Signets if we kill them with Nevenril's disc disc does seem pretty good here though First time watching a live stream and I'm kind of frustrated. I can't 1.5, 1.25 speed real life. <laughs> I've never actually heard that, but that's hilarious. Uh, this hand's good. Turn one this, turn three this. Maybe Gideon. Maybe. Song does turn Blossom into a land. I think we have enough answers to a bit of Blossom, though. We have Anguished on making Vindicate and Rolls Disc. What did you say? Did you say maybe? Mm -hmm. Maybe what? He's not forced to attack and chump both times because he can actually crack back for 10 and then they had Scarab God. So if they have any creature to play, then they have a chump blocker. But we're dead in... I mean, I don't think it's... I don't think it's strictly wrong, but I mean... I think there's arguments for both. That's a big dude. Like, um... So if we attack them to, to 5, like, they could just not play Thoughtseize and they go to 4, right? Um, then they attack us back for 10... So we go to like one 
And if they have any blocker for a Raging Ravine, we just lose. Well, that's never happening. Give us a white mana here. I don't think we had the mana to activate twice. We only had one green source. We only had Copperline Gorge outside of... We definitely didn't have uh, two, two other red sources, right? I'm pretty sure we did not have the mana for that, but... Yeah, activating twice heals two counters. I know that. Like, I, I just, we never, at no point did we have uh, Raging Ravine and then two additional green and two additional red. Give my card back, nerd. <sighs> good times, good times. So we have double white, double black, triple green, double white, double... And our, our mana base is actually very good. Yeah, we're just playing a pretty greedy deck. See, now we can anguish them making this. Which we shall. What was our second green source? We had Copperline Gorge and what else? Did we have Savannah out that game? Does that do anything? Nope. No. Look at this hand. This hand is great. If we can just hit a a color that we need. Hmm. One white's really good. If we're so if we're using our copper line gorge for one of the red sources, we need four sources, right? We need we need we have raging ravine. But we can't act. We can't use that for either mana. So we need a Copperline Gorge, a Savannah, a Racto Signet, and what's our other red slash black source? So, what did you say? Don't worry about it. Oh, I was worried about it. Yeah, that's the thing. I, we didn't have red green red green in addition to the ravine. Like the ravine can't tap itself to activate itself. I mean, yeah, it can. Posted. But it's not going to do anything. What is going on? Why do you keep having things? Well, they can't attack with that. Okay. Now we're talking. Are we? Yeah, we play Liliana here. Oh, yeah. And we can easily discard something and then make them do the same. I think it's the card we'll never cast. Oh, which one? Garrick Primal Hunter? Yeah. Okay. Baron. Oh, Virtuous Gearhulk? That guy was problematic. So they need one, two, three, four, five, six. They need seven lands to activate an equipped sword. So that's good. They're a little off of that. And any creature they play, we can kill times two. Or not, because they anguished on making our Liliana, which is worse for our Sun Titan. That's actually pretty good. If they activate this, we kill it. And we only lose Rakdos Signet at this point, which is not terrible. And we can get it back with Sun Titan. So, not the worst. House of Shadow, what's going on, David? Good seeing you, buddy. Oh, look at that cutie. No, oh, they didn't equip. Oh, so close yet so far, especially because we have uh, <laughs> Rakdos Signet getting destroyed. That's annoying. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, 
Uh, I guess we just pass here. And if they try to equip Lotus Cobra or play something else, we'll do it. I don't want to do it, but we'll do it if we have to. I'm really surprised they didn't equip, though, because you don't lose anything. Unless they're just going to go land Vraska, but then they don't need Lotus Cobra to do that, so... Oh, uh, I am not thinking of going to any GPs as of right now. I just don't care about GPs, to be honest with you. The cost uh, and, and inconvenience of traveling to GPs is just not worth... Um, the, the doing it, I guess, I guess you could say. That's just me not, not liking... Uh, I also don't like Popper either because just because I have a collection and I can play with uh, yep that's what I figured you were going to do alright that's unfortunate why doesn't it take out Planeswalkers oh if you're not going to attack with Lotus Cobra that's just fine or if you're not going to equip hmm I'm intrigued I guess they're going to try to blow up our disc And then we blow up these things instead. And you don't get a treasury. You're going to destroy a signet. Yeah, might as well pop the disc then. Now I have, yeah, now I have nothing to lose. I mean, this is going to get destroyed anyway, but we might as well do this so they don't get a token. So we don't get a clue. Get a clue, buddy. They also have one card in hand. White source. Oh my god, every time these white sources are brutal, dude. I do like that Chandra makes two three threes, uh two three ones, so they can just attack um Vraska directly. Oh, that's a good one. To be good. Oh, that's pretty good too though. Then she just kills it. I guess, and then we hit Sun Titan and get it back. It's actually pretty good. And they have a blue source now, so they can start getting back things like Virtuous Gear Hulk. Oh, God, vomit. Ugh. Look at, we're getting crushed by Vraska right now, and it's really unfortunate because we could have had a Vraska of our own. Not like we could actually cast her, but... Yeah, that's pretty good. Get back Virtuous Gear Hulk. Attack us for six. That's what I imagine happening. I think this game's over. What? Oh, I guess you're just going to do something else. Oh, you're just going to do that and then play a land and then... Yeah. Get back your Hulk, sure. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Ooh, Virtuous Gear Hulk. That's... What? What? Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have eight mana to begin with. Can't you just... Can't you do both of those anyway and just get the Gear Hulk instead of the Lotus Cobra? Of course, even if we kill this guy, you could just get it back with Scarab God. These lands have been brutal. We already used our disc. Need to draw which disc? This one? <laughs> mm -hmm. And we'd be dead before we even got to use it. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, plus 15. Yeah, that's rough. All right. Unfortunate. I felt like we were actually really close when we had the Nicol Bolas, and then they went, oh, kill it. Looks like the price is wrong. Is that from... Mitch. I like your Happy Gilmore reference. That was what that was. I know. Or is you is... I'm a Bob Barker fan. My baby. No, definitely not. God, it's so popular. It's really annoying. Yeah, man, you having a stroke? Yeah, white and it's really good, I guess. I think it's fine. Uh, I think I like even if we say the problem is even if you lose, not the problem, but like the the good the good side is even if you lose a decks like this, you're challenging yourself, and I think that's good. 
because you're 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 imposing restrictions and restrictions breed creativity so savannah off the top into night into scrubland into volcanic island that's what we want to do or we can just go plains or scrubland and replace that and then we'll search for the savannah search for the savannah him to Torok. Nope. Fauna Shaman, eh? Okay. Well, maybe I just kill that. This seems kind of dangerous. I don't like your Fauna Shaman. Fauna Shamanigans. Oh, your fingers hurt? Well, now your back's going to hurt because you just pulled landscaping duty. Why do you make me do this? Oh. You okay? Oh, no. Oh, we're playing against Shakira. Shakira, Shakira. Oh, baby, when you talk like that. Double white, double white, double white, double black. Oh, that's going to... That's That'll do. Pig. Oh, that's going to... Oh, that's going to... Oh, oh, oh. Give me strength. So now we can actually get a savanna because we have double black and double white here. So now we can get a green. A greensies. Oh, look, they played a land. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Nope. Here we go. They don't. What, what, what color are you going to name? Don't name white, dude. <laughs> Oh god, they're gonna name white. It's gonna be terrible. Of course they named white. Of course they did. Why wouldn't they? Oh look, it's a white card. I'm having a fun time. How about you? Yeah, I mean I own a naming white, clearly. I mean we have four colors on board. <laughs> What's with the mom and the onions? God <laughs> You know. I you don't know. Guess we take seven. Guess we got two more turns to live. Nope, that ain't gonna do it. Nope, 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 nope. All right, cool. Any of these white cards would be great, but alas. After this, we're just gonna draft a real deck. <gasps> that doesn't do anything. You can cash, Chandra. Discard our hand. Draw Mox. Exile. Draw. We already used our sword, so even if the Mox was a pearl, we'd still lose. <laughs> I'm trying to think, man. What if we draw in Tomb? Well, you might want to do that just so we can see more of their deck. Wait, what? How would we see more of their deck? Oh, wait. That's not how that works. You think discarding our hand lets us see more of their deck? Yeah, I thought it was like a wheel effect where we both do it. You're a wheel effect. I think this is the concede button. Yeah, there I you think go. you're right. Let's see what we would have drawn. We would have drawn six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we'd be dead. I mean, the bird would have come close to blocking, though, if we had a, another green source that could have come into play untapped. We didn't. You're right. Oh, mother of Jesus. Jesus. I think it's we bring in... Dry it, I guess? Cause yeah. Can... It's an out. Or a disc. Probably. Probably take out Chandra. Why would we take out Chandra? Not that great. Why is that that great? Actually, the, the five mana Liliana is not that great. I mean, I'd really take out one Signet as well, so... Sure, 42. Screw it. Wow. I'm the problem is signets die because they they died in Neverknoll's disc. So. Oh sure, yeah that makes sense. What's the worst one? I think it's Orzhov signet because we have the most white sources. Okay. Oh, drafting mono bed here. Oh, necromancy could have been good, but I don't think they're going to put guys in the graveyard uh, before they're able to animate it. But maybe I'm wrong. Either way, this hand is probably as keepable as we're going to get. We also have 17 lands and a mox. No, 16 lands and a mox. So 
and a land tax and two signets. So I don't know why we're not hitting more lands, more mana sources. Because magic is a fun game. Because we have 20 mana sources and a land tax, which is over half of our deck that, that gives us lands. Guys in the graveyard with onions. Here we go, in tomb. Oh, I don't care about that thing. That was a pretty good draw, I guess. Michael's little baby loves shortening, shortening. Michael's little baby loves shortening bread. Oh, we also have, yeah, yeah we have a mox jet, too. Remember that time we opened on a mox jet? No. No, I don't. If we can draw it now, that'd be fantastic, though. We can play Garrick, kill their Death Ray Shaman, flip Garrick. Or kill that, because that's problematic. Mox jet one time, please. Mama's little baby. Not a mox jet. Mama's little mox jet. Mama's little mox jet. Mox jet. Burn. What up, Game Store Online? That was a good song. Your mama's little baby mox jet mox jet. Maybe if he'll play something. Maybe you will. Did you ever think about that? Oh, he's playing something. Cool story, bro. Oh, no. They're just discarding Iona. That's good. Now we can't kill it. Great. Well, we can, but it doesn't really do much at this point, unfortunately. You kill one of them, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh. It's so close. That was when I blew my brains out. <laughs> Mom's little baby loves short and inbred. That mock shit is in the kitchen with onions. I don't even know what's going on this 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 stream. This deck has not been uh, performing as well as we would have expected, unfortunately. Well, when you can't cast your spells, it's a little awkward. Which is weird because we have eight dual lands and three signets and a land tax. And, the, like, to be fair, though, there are a lot of restricted, like, double red, double white, triple green, red green. All right, you're just going to keep on making rats, huh? Rats off to you, I guess. Garrick ha hath died. Hmm. My name is Hunsy. <laughs> hey, it's little Hunsy. I love me some rats off to you. <laughs> rats on, rats off. The pack rat. Here we go. No, I don't care about that. You will. No, I won't. You will. No, I won't. You will. No, I won't. Onion attack. I don't know. I'm confused as well. Seems like a really free attack. Just attack and discard a card. We get completely hosed. Are we going to double whack one rot? Double black, one rot. <laughs> Hashtag double black, one rot. That's a good. That's a good. One. 2018. I believe you mean 28 team. No. 28 teams. No. Whatever, man. I don't care about no. you. Next stipulation: open power in every pack. Yeah, it's a pretty good stipulation. If they the hunter does that even when no one's watching. If they make a rat here, we can exile. Oh, they didn't do anything. That's weird. Hunter likes to dance when like when like no one's watching. I'm just gonna play this bad, Larry. I'm surprised they didn't make a rat on their turn. If you if we were the A team, who would it be? I would be um, B A Baracus. They didn't make a round on their turn either. Do they just have the hand that they just don't want to discard anything from? I guess. So. Oh, we got a white. We got a white. We got a green, ladies and gentlemen. Simulation: Draft the best possible deck from your packs. Should be easy for you guys. I agree. Let's do that. Oh, and they get another one. Good lord! Look at this. Five, six, seven mana. What are you gonna cast here, Manate? Oh, I see. She old red. Well, that's a song of the dryads if I ever saw one. She lit her goblin token. Mother's little baby loves shortening. Oh, that's actually probably better. Mother's little baby loves 
shortening bread. <laughs> What's up, man? Oh, it's so good. What? What happened? Oh. What? What are you reading? I was laughing at the shortening bread. The song? Yeah. Me being sung, singing like Ridiculous. a weirdo? Yeah. Michael's little mother. Two to activate? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's what I said. Michael's little baby loves Michael's face. Michael's little baby loves Michael's face. You heard me. I did. Don't act like you didn't hear me. What are you going to cast my... What is this? What is this? Try? I don't understand. I don't understand what that even means. Oh, you're going to block this guy, huh? No, blocking both those guys, huh? Okay. Looks like we're shooting one. Shooty tooty. I like how you sacked the one that was going to deal on damage. I don't want to talk about it. I totally forgot. I saw it going a different way. Like, I was like, oh, this will be a 1-1. One, one, and this guy dies, so this will be a 1-1-2. One, one, and then I realized, oh, it just dies. It's not going to be a 1-1 one, one at all. It just dies. It's just dead. I don't care about damage, man. Yeah. Well, when they live one life, we'll know why. <laughs> yeah, we will. We will. You got it. Exile my anguish to unmaking. I will take two damage. Two darn maj. Don't play anything. Don't stop playing things. I don't care about that. I'm actually probably just going to shoot that and let this guy flip. The old shoot and flip. A classic. It is a classic. The old shoot and flip. That's what they, that's what they used to say in, in camp, in summer camp. Hey, buddy, you doing the old shoot and flip? And the answer was yes, they were. They were doing the shoot and flip. Richard's little baby loves shortening bread. Who's Richard? You know who Richard is. No, I don't. Don't stop being like this, man. Shoot the death right, Sean, right? Yeah, obviously. Yob. Oh, look at this. They go to they go to three, and we could have just shot them to kill them if they were at one, and if they would be at, they'd be at two because the one damage. What? Oh, sure. And then we could have just killed them with the siege gang. I shoot and flip like five times a week just to keep the pipes clean, you know? <laughs> Why? Why are you like this? Wow. Oh, God. Come on. Wow, we won this match. Or game. Match game. Match game? But I think it's Necromancy. I think this card definitely comes in. Yeah, that one turn where they discard it and then we get it? Mm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, if they, they had Iona and they had Shieldred that we could have taken, so... Let me take out Garrick Primal Hunter. That guy seems a little hard to cast. I don't think we will ever successfully cast that card. I'm gonna. That's. Should be a nerd I'll do it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. It's my goal, man. Do they have any ancient, ancient grudgeable? I don't think so. No. 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 Nah. Okay, we're done. Okay, we're done. I'm Dean and Mike is Sam. Is that our Rat Pack? Uh. What's it called? Is that our Rat Pack Assignments? Assign... Assignments. Oh, you say CW shows are best shows. So that's definitely not a Rat Pack reference. That's some weirdo. Ooh. Ooh. Keepsies. This is what's known as a turn two signet. Turn one mocks into signet. Never thought I'd see the day, boys. Can we draw? Oh, my God. Can we draw... Oh, I thought they were going to Entomb, and then I was like, can we draw Necromancy? That'd be sick, dude. This disc is pretty bad, though, because of uh, it does not get two it. artifact ramp spells, but... How have I not seen Supernatural? I don't know. Isn't that just like a... Uh, some kind of weirdo... Nah, that dude's dead. <sighs> I really want to play Gideon, but I'd rather just get rid of this rat. Well, you know what they say. What do they say? Rats off to you? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Put your rat in the grave. And that also robs them of discard outlet, which is nice. 
Put your ride in the trash can. Oh, they didn't play anything? We could just play Gideon? Probably neg four, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm blowing up, bro. Ooh, girl, Gideon doing some work. Yeah, my only issue with Neverrolls Disc is that it gets rid of like our, we have like four spells that that died in Neverrolls Disc, uh, five and six if you can include Song of the Dryad and Land Tax as well, which is pretty brutal. Do we buff this dude in attack? If they have like Dismember, it's pretty bad. But if they don't, I mean, they have six cards. He's indestructible, so the only thing that can kill him is probably actually Dismember. I think we risk it for the biscuit. Here comes the dismember. He's like, Place your bets now. Will the biscuit be risked? You gotta be kidding me. Is it actually dismember? You have to be joking. Wow. Apparently, the odds are very high. <sighs> Never fails. I don't. I don't have words. <sighs> At least we get to keep our dude. We should probably just play Neverrolls Disc as a disc, even if it kills our things. Supernatural better than Mario movie. Well, the Mario movie was pretty bad, so. It's pretty bad. Here comes they immediately discard Iona and then reanimate it. But if you want to do that, we can, we have Song of the Dryad, so pretty good. I don't even know if we got greedy. Like they, like, they have one out in the entire cube and they have to have it in their hand. Like, I don't think that's greedy. Also, we do have Nicol Bolas mana here, which is pretty nice. So if they play Iona, it's a four for two, which is pretty rough. Although they clearly didn't discard it last turn. It didn't reanimate it last turn. Play a land, okay. Look at this. Green, green, green. We could actually cast Garak this... Oh! That's a good one. Here we go. Oh, no reanimation spell, huh? Oh, a reanimation spell, I see. Fascinating. I see, I see, I see. I see, I see, I see. See you later, little soldier. I'm a soldier. I thought I told you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We don't have Nicol Bolas mana, so I'm reluctant to play Nevenril's Disc. So I'll just play this, because I don't want that back in the graveyard. Enjoy your extra forest, my friend. Oh, I guess they, maybe they sacrifice it anyway, actually. I think they do because Necromancy falls off. Yeah, that's fine. I guess it dies anyway. And even if they play it again, we still have Disc on board. So, worst case scenario, we do lose two artifacts. But we don't lose our creature anymore, so the value is getting better. Wow, and they take seven for that? We have Nevenril's Disc on board? All right. I don't have any guys. Joke's on you. Oh, that's pretty good. Not bad. Play the Apple's Disc. Seems pretty good. We can also activate Gideon first to make him a dude and then play and then activate Disc. Why would you do that? I don't know, because I, I like doing things. A one. 
Gideon Shura. I kind of like popping this guy instead. Even though it dies to disc, but it gets it off the board so that they have to... Like, we could actually pop disc and in response they could discard something. I guess they could do that anyway, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Necromancer leaves the battlefield. Yeah, we'll just plus you. It's fine. Artifacts, creatures, and enchantments. Yeah, it left the battlefield because... Wait. That's not, that's not the question you asked. Um, but there creature card necromancy left. Oh, because yeah, because necromancy left the battlefield, so they have to sacrifice the permanent. Also, we can even leave, let Gideon survive a turn just to make sure they don't eh, survive an attack just so they don't do anything during their turn. We can blow it at the end step. And Gideon can take seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. We should have played our land too. We didn't because I'm like reading um, reading chat and like this, but reading both chats over here. So I was like, and if we draw, uh, I guess we'd have to draw land and Nicol Bolas. So it's not really a, a hold up here. Both at Gideon, so seven? Yeah, no blocks. Gideon can go to one. Because we can also just kill Shield. No, we can't just kill Shield Road. But it prevents him from playing anything this turn, which is nice. Well, and if we draw Nickel if we draw Nickel Bolas, if we draw Nickel Bolas here, we can just play it. In your dreams. Uh prevent all damage that would be dealt to him. So he's not this this Gideon is not indestructible, which is worth noting. So yeah, I guess we pop disc here. And then attack with Gideon, put them to three, and hope they don't have another... Snapcaster dismember? <laughs> no, not even that. Just because uh, parental damage to Gideon, so he'd still be a 1-1. One, one. No, I'm, I'm more worried about another reanimation spell. All right, here we go. Just don't have any more stuff. All right, they didn't do anything, so that's good. At worst, they reanimate shoulder, and then we attack with Gideon, and they have to block it. So that's pretty good. It's uh, pretty good. And we also have we have blue, black, black, and red for Nicol Bolas. So if we draw Nicol Bolas, we can cast it with our lands, which is pretty relevant. Oh, that's real sad. Super rude. Whatever pass p -p 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 pass here we go get back shielded <laughs> well oh Liliana get back shielded <laughs> Jesus yep I mean we're at 18 so we have some time one, two, three, four, five. If we draw one, two, three, we're one mana away from a CG and commander and killing them immediately. Any non land card is good. We have three turns. Uh, I, when, I don't think it was better to pop during combat.
Yeah, chat's going a little ridiculous here. It's glorious. We do have outs. We have tons of outs. There's an out. It's a good one. That's the beautiful baby boy that we were looking for. It is now my shield red. I have made your shield red mine. I'm ignoring you because this game is very close and uh, I want to make sure we are able to win this match. Because we're actually out of play points after this bad boy. Well, we're not out, but we don't have enough to uh, to survive the impending storm. What? Shut up, nerd. I can't. You can't shut up? You didn't make any sense. Oh, wow. They discarded Razaketh and now they're going to reanimate at instant speed? What's going on here? Is that what you're going to do? That's still only 8, 9, 10 damage. And they have to sacrifice one of them to Shieldred? What's going on? This is really scary, actually. Makeshift Mannequin? What was that? Oh, Corpse Dance with Buyback. Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Okay, you sack Shieldred. Now, you can't sack something else, so we are going to... Oh, no, that's... Mm -hmm, yeah. This is really bad. <laughs> that was actually a great play, though. And that shielder dies, and they get to keep their Razaketh, which is pretty scary, but they actually can't get another dude. So we go to one here. I guess if they find a way to deal one to us. Life finds a way. <laughs> Stop saying that. Fine. So we know one of their cards is this dude. Oh, they, no, they exiled this. Oh, yeah, that's that's great. I forgot about the exile. That's awesome. Son of Nicobola survives unless they grab something to kill. I keep forgetting how stupid Corpse Dance works because it's not a card that uh, you see frequently. I guess they can get Shielder back and kill Nicobolas. But then that dies too, so. <laughs> sure, that's fine. I guess they, I think they have to actually do that. Oh, that's good too. But Nicobolas still lives then. What's happening right now? If he lives, he lives. What does that mean? I, I assume they tutored for a recurring nightmare. And they're going to sack Petrid Imp to Shieldred. God, they're a one. This game is stupid, man. Is there any way we can deal one to them? Like, immediately? I don't think so. Uh, recurring nightmare is not going to be on the board. They're going to kill they're gonna sack Petri to get back shielded and then we don't have enough on nickel bolus to steal it so yep don't have a dude siege and commander oh that'll do uh, i don't think so <laughs> it's real close though right what do we do with that we can draw two cards one two three four five six Pop a defender? I don't even know what that means. Send the elementals and destroy a land? What does that do? They just, they still die. They still, like, they only, they double block. Bolus is plus can't hit creatures. Alright, Bolus is plus three, not plus one for 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 one. Uh second the plus one cannot hit creatures. That is correct. It does kill the Fauna Shaman, but they still have don't forget they still have a corpse stance in hand. Which could be relevant. Because they can bring this back with haste, discard it, and then they have so their hand is corpse stance and recurring nightmare. So they go Corpse Dance, which I think costs two. Is that correct? Uh, three. Okay. 
So they can go Corpse Dance, this for three. I guess if they drew a land... No, they can't do anything like that, I guess. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I definitely... Any, I, I don't understand people commenting on how Nicobolus is not good. That's so weird to me. Like, I don't think it's true ever. Like, we stole a shield, or we almost stole a shield, or if they didn't have some kind of, some kind of uh, putrid imp, corpse dance, Razaketh shenanigans, like, we would have been fine. All right, so attack you with both of these fine birds. You lose a dude. You're at one, so you don't really have the luxury of attacking. We're keeping the land in hand because uh, if we do want to zero Chandra, we can potentially draw three cards the next turn, including our... Oh, that's right. They just get this back with Shoulder because that's how Shoulder works. I guess they would have gotten Putrid Impet back anyway. Um, but at least they can't attack with both now, and that's pretty okay. They can't attack with Shoulder and kill Nickel. Oh, they kill Chandra. Okay. So can I steal Shoulder now? I guess they can Recurring Nightmare to... Sack Shieldred for Putrid Imp, but that seems bad. Especially because Putrid Imp can't block, right? So, they kill Nicobolus, so you make two guys. Their hand is Corpse Dance Recurring Nightmare. Killing Nicobolus, sure. I think both of these Planeswalkers are game-winning. Recurring Nightmare can get... They could actually sack this for Putrid Imp, then sack it again to get back Shieldred. Okay, so their card is a land. They didn't do anything. Are they dead? They are now. Because I think they're trying to get Corpse Dance back to block with Putrid Imp, but right. Putrid Imp can't block. Oh, they can discard. No, Fauna Shaman's got Summoning Sickness. I'm just getting rid of Shoulder because I think it's a better long-term play in case they have shenanigans. But... <laughs> Banish that Mitch to the Shadow Realm. Yeah, their only creature is Putrid Imp and with Threshold, which they will have. And they can't activate this. So we know their hand is Corpse Dance Recurring Nightmare, right? Yeah, this is... Maybe they don't realize that they can't block. Yeah, I think that's what they don't... Yeah. yeah, I think that's just what they don't get. It does have haste, though. That's cool. Oh, no, can't block. <laughs> Good games. All right, we did win a match. Basically unbeatable. Do we bring in... Do we change anything? Mm, I don't think so. Is Song better than Garrick? Probably. Garrick's really hard to cast. God, he's really good if we can hit it, though. One... We also haven't hit Land Tax or Bird in any of these games. I'm going to leave it like this, because I think if we hit either of these two, I think we're very, very favored to play, actually... Garrick, especially if we can draw two. Like, land tax gets us two forests. First first, first activation. You know what I'm saying? No. That's unfortunate. I thought you did. I thought we was friends. You thought wrong, Mitch. Grudge seems good, but there's definitely matches where it's not great. And we already have Anguish and Making and Vindicate for artifacts. I'd rather not have Anguished uh, if it's just a blank in certain matchups, and I think it would have been in the first two matches. This is the hand. This is the hand. Land tax one land is a really good hand, as it turns out. Yeah, surprisingly so. And also, if we have uh, Orzov signet, because again, it lets us skip a land drop. 
Uh, you don't have to be on the draw for land tax, but you do have to have less lands than your opponent. And we do. do, 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 do. Also, if we skip one land drop, which we might have to anyway, uh, it does let us go. That was aggressive. Prior bolt to the face. Yeah, so now we can actually search for lands and then play Orzov Signet as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, they just didn't play land. I see. I can play this game. Are they just gonna? Yeah, sure. Like you, you can't have that many one mana spells. That's yeah, sure. Now we'll just play this. There you go. You get a second land. Congratulations. It's so weird to try to outvalue the land tax that hard. Oh, I get to equip this. Oh. Oh, that's actually good, because now we get to play pretty much anything in our hand. I really just want to play Garrick and kill this. To do it. I mean, it sucks because we're not getting our land tax, but... It's better that we get a Garrick, at least. Draw your cards, I don't care. You're going to draw them anyway. It's okay, they're all red cards, so... They're probably just going to lose anyway. Wow, that's aggressive. I don't like Anguished on making in this matchup, I'll be honest with you. Oh, wow. I do. Really? Yeah, because it kills swords and skull clamps. Right, but I don't want to take three damage to do it is the problem. Man, we hit 13. We fine. No, I'm saying right now. Do we just do we skip a land drop here? We can play Hangerback Walker for two, actually. I think that's probably better. We don't need no lands. Well, maybe we can play Gideon. Yeah, Gideon kind of... The it. problem is if we hit one, if we if we let them hit one land drop above us, we get to cast uh, Nicol Bolas Guaranteed. That's pretty good. I like that better. Because I don't think we need to play anything other than Death Touch Wolf and Hangerback Walker, so. Yeah, I have respect for the red deck a lot. I don't. Yeah, Mike does not. Oh, look, they play land. This format's too powered. They don't have enough powerful spells. Someone on the someone in the YouTube comments, uh, shout out to YouTube viewers. If you guys haven't done so, please refer to like and subscribe. Both those things help me out a ton, and I really love you. Um, one of the oh, that's really lame. It's pretty good. But I mean, me. That's actually fine. <laughs> yeah, it's not a big deal. It's really not. I don't even care. Yep. Let's get an island. I think Burn is like really swamp. good in the the modern cube. And mountain. The other cube that isn't like powered. <gasps> we can play that. No, we can't. Next turn, I mean. So I'm actually going to vindicate your sword. Um, What are we playing here as our land? Probably just planes. You don't have to do this. Well, we're going to have to discard something, so there's no reason not to. I guess we can discard Anguished on making, but... I mean, the sword is just annoying, so whatever. Oh, uh, he didn't hit the hanger back for one. It dealt one damage to all creatures we control. Oh, that's annoying. That's actually really annoying. Yep, that's going to be problematic. Oh, we do get to find our one more green. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. We're going to lose the Stormbreath Dragon because our multiple, our multiple ways to deal with that guy are, <laughs> are white. Just gotta live to a bowl oh, actually, Gideon actually prevents. Oh, Gideon's actually great here. Never mind. Yeah, we're fine. Are we? Yeah. Actually, next turn we can also negative two this and have a bunch of blockers. So that's pretty good too. Islands in the stream. That is what we are. Yep, get in there. All right, here we go. 
This is where they play a uh, thunder. Thunder, 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 thunder the other... cats. What's the other big dragon called? Thunder Ma. Okay. There you go. That's the one. They're gonna play both and attack Gideon. Ready? Oh, oh. All right. That's good. You can't. Uh, yeah, that's fine. You can't attack or block with it. So. It's whatever. But soon. Never. I, I'm actually going to pick lands here to thin our deck so we don't actually hit stupid cards. Um, we only have two basics left. Yeah, sure. No land. Hmm, Elspeth Knight. Knight Arant. One, two, three, four, five. We're really far from... So we can play this Gideon and play Concealed Courtyard. I think that's probably fine. Yeah. They also have six lands, so if they draw one more land, not ideal. Yeah, and putting a sword on this guy would have been just ridiculous, so I'm glad we got rid of the sword. Um, I think we play a basic here so we can pump Hangerback Walker. And I'm fine with discarding the planes here. Actually, we get rid of an island or a forest. I don't think we need four forests. Definitely not. Definitely not. Yep. Sure. Like, I, that doesn't do anything. This is a stipulation deck where we had to draft all of the Planeswalkers that we saw. Wait, what? How did that... Because it deals damage. Oh, and, and the number of, number of cards in our hand. Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. I actually thought it was the number of cards in their hand. I was like, oh, two, big deal. Wow. All right, we'll go to one here, I guess. One, Seems two, three, good. four, five, six, seven. What? Seems good. Does not seem that good. Yeah, I don't know why you don't respect the red deck. That's weird. If you didn't have Elkai, this game was super over. But they did. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Doesn't win us the game. Do we draw like four here? Seems decent. What else? If we, actually, if we draw Mox, we can play Nicol Bolas and steal this. But then we still have to deal with this, so. Which is fine. We can just block it. Uh, it can shock us. Oh, yeah. It has an ability on there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Then we're dead. Well, we're not, because we have four, we have four cards to draw. We can also pump the One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, we don't want to pump. We'll just draw three cards instead. Oh my god, Baneslayer being pro white is so dumb. Or pro pro the the Stormbreath Dragon being pro white is so stupid, but again, like Oh my god. We did. Yeah, we know Hazard shocks the face. We're trying to figure out if we can deal with that. I'm okay, Dad. Ugh, what could we have done differently? See, this is why anger are making is terrible. Like, it's certainly bad in this matchup. That's what I said, and you were like, "No, you get to kill things." I'm like, yeah, "You don't want to take three damage to do that." If you could kill that that Hydra or that stupid dragon with it, I would take three all day. Not in this spot, obviously, because we're at one. But oh my god, Chandra negative four actually keeps us alive. Does it? Yeah, because it kills this. Well, that's indestructible, so... It, negative, negative still kills a creature. No, it deals X damage. It deals X damage. That doesn't work. Yeah, it's not, I thought it was negative X, negative X. Can we play Nicol and kill our own Hangerback Walker? I don't think so. No, we can't actually play... We can't play Nicol at all because we only have six mana. We'd have seven mana total and Nicol we're like two turns away from Nicol Bolas. And we have, there's no card in our hand that we'd have one mana up to, to, to play with Chandra. 
I think we're just yeah, we're just gonna go to the next game. Why would we plush zero Chandra? We'd have one mana left over. Why would we show them Chandra? It doesn't make any sense. Like we to do that, we show them our entire hand. We show them Baneslayer Angel, Elspeth, Anguish the Making, and Nicol Bolas. And we have one mana left over. And the only card we have is Sword, which deals with this, but not this. And then we die to this. So it's just it doesn't make any sense to do that. All right. Song of the Dryads definitely comes in. Anguish to Megan can come out. Mm -hmm. Archangel of Thune seems great here. Got a lifelink. That's all I care about. Get rid of Garrick, I guess. I think that seems fine. Yeah. Oh, you did it to deck yourself. Obvious. <laughs> it's a strategy that eluded me. I don't know what you're doing right now. You sound like a maniac. And why are we listening to that song with onions? No, we're not listening to the onion song. Why not? Uh, I don't like this because it doesn't kill Hazaret, and it also does kill all of our things, and they don't have that many permanents. I don't like Necromancy because the only creature in that matchup that we would have been able to get back was a Monastery Mentor. I didn't negative to Gideon because I thought we had another turn with it. I just miss. Uh, I assumed that I actually didn't assume. I, I thought. I, I thought. Uh, what's his name? I get all these dragons confused, man. Stormbreath Dragon was deal damage equal to the, the cards in the opponent's hand, kind of like Sword of War and Peace, or uh, equal to the cards in your hand rather, not your opponent's hand. I will keep because this hand is great. We got the Mox Orzov Signet draw. Also, this guy's real good. Boarding Big Daddy Potato. What is a Big Daddy Potato? Exactly? We already boarded in Big Daddy Potato. Oh, that was a great draw, too. It was all right. It was a great draw. It was all right. It was great. Savannah would have been better. Solved by it. Yeah, obviously. But I don't live in a Savannah world. I live in, in a... a Savannah world. I have no idea what you're doing there. She took the midnight train going to green white lands. Stormy, Stormy B is a big dude that does fair things. Uh, which is unfortunate because it seems... Oh, what is this? This damage to the face is weird, but I guess you understand that we don't have many other targets, I guess. Still seems like you can wait to do all that jazz. Can we not do anything yet? Can we get another white source? I guess we can. No, my child. But maybe next turn. Actually, that's very good. And if they play a fourth land, we can still go Plains, Knight of the White Orchid. Oh, they did. Oh, wow. I guess we, get, we still get to do it, though. Yeah, that's fine. It's all fine. It's all whatever. So we're going to get a white... Uh, hey, this guy knows he has haste. It's rare. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. So let's get a plains, uh, forest, and an island. Hmm. <laughs> And we get to play swords. I guess it's... I definitely save swords. Yeah, I'm not going to kill their... Well, you think I'm going to kill their avalanche rider, which they're probably not going to pay for anyway? Maybe you will. You're wow. crazy. Could just actually kill one of their lands here. Eh. I mean... I think the more turns we can not deal with Stormbreath Dragon, the better. We have swords. Oh, wait. No, that doesn't work. Oh, yeah? Go on. Tell me more. <laughs> well, we can't do it this turn. Anyway. What up, Case? We can't do what this turn? Yeah, we can. We have a black floating. Oh. That's kind of why I want to do it. 
right. It doesn't kill anything else in their deck is the problem. It doesn't kill Hazoret. It doesn't kill any other things. So I'd rather just keep them behind on land so that they're X turns behind on... And if they... It, we still get to land tax next turn if they search for... Yeah, they didn't do anything. That was We time walk them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to get two lands. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's fine. We'll get a forest and a plains. So now we have nine. We go Blooming Marsh into Chandra. Nope, we got to go. Oh, we only have one red source. That's sad. I guess we're just going to go hang a back walker for a million. Not with that, I guess. <laughs> Woo, we're doing good. We're gonna keep a white Keeping here. It optimal. Dude's draw. Dude draws three lands. Plays the one that comes into play tapped. I literally forgot. Like we had so few actual lands that I didn't even bother to count. I guess we're just attacking here. I forgot we only had one one red source in our deck outside of. Uh, yeah, those coup cards are actually uncastable. Yep, that's what we were, we're trying to avoid. If we get a red source, though, we can actually... Uh... We can play Chandra negative for it, and then make a bunch of Hangerback Walker tokens. We can also play Siege Gang and shoot it if we have enough. I guess we're just going to get the last land, right? Might as well. Well, let's do this old song and dance again, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. So we can go one, two, three, four, five. Gideon. Got to attack, Gids. Um, play. I don't want to play Island because if they have the underway to destroy land, we're in bad shape. Let's play Forest then. Yeah. And next turn, we can actually uh, Hangerback Walker for four tokens, which does give us some good blocks. I think. I would like a red source here, but... Mama's little baby loves onions, onions. Mama's little baby loves onion bread. Onion bread? God, Stormbirth Dragon is such a beating for our deck. Yeah, I guess the stipulation for this draft is we have to draft walkers, and we have a hangerback walker, so. If you play Hazard, I'm going to 1,000% give you a million life. Fiery Confluence? What are your modes? Destroy an artifact. How do I know what your modes are? Oh, these are your modes. Okay, deal two damage to each opponent, two damage to each creature. Okay. Hmm. That's pretty good. Oh, no, you didn't do that. Okay. I Those were not your modes, I guess. What? Yes, you just dealt a bunch of damage. Why does it not tell me what your modes are? <laughs> it's so annoying. Well, you see, that would cost an extra $10. Oh, that was a good draw. That was a beautiful, beautiful draw. One, two, three, four. So now we get to pump this guy. Negative three, and she survives. That's pretty good. They do get to draw two, but we're at 11, so. That's the draw. Right, he redirected to Gideon. Gideon was at three. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> yeah, he chose all three. Okay, so the first one says it deals one damage to each creature. You can't redirect that to Gideon. Gideon was at three because he was at eight and he took five. Second mode, deals two damage to each opponent. Oh, did it say did it say deals two damage to each opponent twice? Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense then. Gotcha. Okay, it looked like he chose all three. That was just me being... Man, you guys are getting real aggressive. Okay, cool.
I mean, killing an Orzhov Signet... <laughs> sure. Killing an Orzhov Signet and... Uh, oh, what do you hit? <laughs> That's actually great. Oh, I love that. Oh, wow. And you don't kill Chandra here? Wait, what? Post-combat Reckless Bushwhacker? Mert? Um... Negative one. Oh, that's a good draw. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was... Hmm. Yeah, definitely a misclick there. Uh, <laughs> less than ideal. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Yeah, we're just going to make guys here. Could negative one, but there's no reason to get rid of Chandra, I guess. If we play Archangel of Thune, that just seems better. Seems pretty good. But we only have two white, so I want to keep up swords. I think we're just going to go with Siege Gang. Oh, we can actually play planes, I guess. All right. Three, four, five... Archangel of Thune. We could have, yeah, we can Swords and Elemental and gain some life and then put counters on our one Hangerback and our one Archangel of Thune. Yeah, the difference is, like, I got upset because it felt like everyone was piling on me about one thing, and then they, were, they ended up being right, which is totally fine. I just misread a card. But the difference is I'm one guy, uh, it, you know, trying to have a discussion, and then, like, seven people have said the same thing. So uh, it, it does feel a little aggressive. You're a little aggressive. I know. I apologize. I accept. JK. Psych. <laughs> That's what I was gonna do. What are you doing here? They can't even attack, right? Uh, I guess. I guess. I guess I'm wrong. Joke's on you. Joke is on me, dude. What? <laughs> I just gained more life than you dealt. I'm intrigued. This game is over. Oh, I see. Inferni Titania. You can kill this thing? So we gain them six. They go to 14. We attack for six, 79, 10, 11, 12. And then we can siege gang and shoot them for two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. We don't have three red, though, so that's bad. I guess that's fine. Whatever. She did her job. Alternatively, we can just ignore this guy and attack for six with Hangerback Walker. Yeah, actually, if we just ignore this guy, we actually attack with Hangerback Walker and they have to block the Hangerback Walker. Or else they go to, to dead. They go to dead. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, so let's get our let's get our six one ones here. What? <laughs> I accept. What? You're dead. <laughs> what a weird block. Okay, I believe you. Well, that match was better. Jump in the line. Wrong about in line. Okay, I believe you. So these seem to seem skull clamp and sword of fire and ice. I don't know if that's enough for ancient grudge. We see any anything else? Were there any other? Nope. Okay. That was it. Okay, okay. Is Banisher Priest good? Yeah. Just another misclick. No biggie. <laughs> Rip that dude. <laughs> He's like, mm, I'd rather die. I'm good. I choose death. Sometimes you just gotta choose death. Your mom chose death. Did she? I don't know. I mean, probably she probably did. Do we want Disc in here, dude? I mean, it does answer. It, it answers Infernal Titan and Stormbreath Dragon, which is pretty good. Yeah. I think it's Discable. Discable. The delicious lunch. <laughs> you guys want some of my Discables? Um, what else do we bring in? Anything? No. Nah. What do we take out? 
Well, yeah, it seems pretty bad. Really? Well, no, not really. It makes them sacrifice Stormbreath Dragon, and a lot of times that's yeah. the only creature they have on board. Maybe Liliana. Yeah, she's pretty slow. Just like you. Wow. That was rude, man. You hurt my feelings. Did I? No, nah, I don't care about you. That's what I thought. Is this hand any good? It seems real slow. I mean, it's got Baneslayer Angel, so I'm kind of a fan of it. I'll keep it. I like, I'm a big fan of risking it for the biscuit. it. Watch, here they're going to be, this is going to be the most aggressive draw with one drop, yep. Haven't had a one drop yet, this game. Oh, that was a good draw, though. Third turn Garrick, fourth turn potential Baneslayer if we get an untapped white source. Fingers crossed arena. Fingers crossed. Yeah, do that. I did, it's my little fingers crossed dance. And he's tagging for three? God. Brutal. White source. That's not a white source. And we can't even kill it with... I guess we can make a beast and block it with Garrick. And then they draw two cards. We, ha I, we haven't drawn bird of... Uh, oh, wow, nothing, huh? We haven't drawn bird once. All right, it's not looking good for this, this Bane Slayer Angel as of yet. Jump in the line. And that's how we die. How do we die? Not being able to cast our spells. Well, they didn't burn Garrick at the end of the turn either. Here comes Avalanche Rider. Oh. That's well more scary. Oh, both going to face, huh? Interesting. This is super aggressive, actually. Wow, they don't even care about the Garrick. Good lord. Can't we just burn this guy next turn? We're definitely doing that. Baneslayer... <gasps> we can kill Hellrider and Baneslayer. Seems really good. It seems very good. Yeah, flip the Garrick. Sure, do whatever. <laughs> I like how it still flips. Well, it, yeah, it tries to anyway. Next time we can also Chandra. Also very good. You can play your Storm Breath now. We win this race, bro. <laughs> I allow it. I don't know what they can have that would kill this guy. All right, that can't do anything. Don't care. Actually useless. We win the game. Game's over. I think we're playing Song on this guy. And maybe killing a land. Actually, Song deals with Stormbreath Dragon pretty well. You also can't attack or block anytime soon, I don't think. Well. I think he goes land down to three. But then they go, spells. no, but they're going to draw a card. They go to five. They play a land, go to four. They can shoot, shoot, which is just scary. Like it does a lot of scary things is my problem. This can't deal with Stormy Breath, but it can still race it. So it races it very well. I'd rather not vindicate a creature that's indestructible. That seems pretty bad. Vindicate a land actually seems pretty bad. Right. I was going to, yeah, we were going to song this and vindicate a land. Seems alright. Or we could have just played Chandra as the thing. And attack for six more and put them to nine, and then they're just dead on board. That probably would have been good. I think I actually feel better about keeping Song in hand if we just vindicate a land, because now they can't shoot us twice. Yeah, we, this is actually fine. Because it means you have to go land, tap out for a Stormbreath Dragon. In which case we can song. Oh, they're just going to pitch a land. That's pretty good. They could go one drop, one drop and actually really blow us out. That would be insane. So five. We can deal nine. We go to 17 though. That seems pretty good. That's really good. This game's over. Here's what I think we do. I don't think we play Chandra. Wouldn't Chandra just deal more damage? Yes, but we also get to song this. See, now I'm a little afraid because they go, okay, let's say they go four. They have four cards. They play a land. Mm -hmm. They have three cards. They can go uh, one drop Bushwhacker and attack us for six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Is that good? 
Is there any way you can kill us with three cards, dude? I have my doubts. Are you First sure? We're going to 17. I just like Chandra attacking for a bunch here. Like, if they have Lightning Bolt, it puts us to 14. Right? And they go to they go to two cards. They draw a card. They go to three cards. They can discard, discard, which puts us to 10, and then they attack us for six. It goes to four. And then they die the turn after. It just feels like an extra risk. Like, we win next turn anyway because we have six and five if we just get rid of this. Okay. Like, I think it's just it's just better to do it this way. And this is that doesn't even account for Raging Ravine, so... I think Song is safer. Like, I'd rather just get rid of your... I mean, if they can somehow... If they have, like, one drop, one drop... Or, like... Yeah, all right, this is better. Did we just go 2-1 with this deck? That's pretty cool. Yeah, this probably nails them in their coffin. Right, this is... Yeah, and so, like, Chandra is still lethal next turn. We don't need to put them to four this turn because they just kill. They it doesn't kill them. So they do have seven I mana. Can, I don't know what they can have here. I mean, Inferno Titan is like probably one of the scariest things they can do, but it doesn't do anything. They just die. Yeah, that's fine. That's pretty annoying, actually. But they don't have first strike, right? Uh, can we still get? Can we kill through that? I don't think so. annoying so we deal them eight and they gain seven well we can deal them one so one two three four five six five six seven eight so we put them to, yeah yeah that's not great so they take one well they take one go to five now they just attack Man, Warm Fell is so good here. It's pretty good. What does Chandra for two do? I mean, we could draw two with, with, with Chandra, but... Yeah, we could do that. I mean, if we hit a Swords, we win, right? One, two, three, four, five, six... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have enough mana for everything, so. Do we need to play a signet? No. Okay. No, and if we do, we, we only draw one yeah, card. Right. Okay, so we don't want to do one, that. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll just play Chandra for zero. I don't actually like doing this. I think this is bad because if they attack, we could have actually. Oh, Gideon's actually great. Agreed. And they kind of have to kill Chandra here. We go to 20. Three, 22 though which I mean yeah I actually don't I'm not sure if I, I like the playing Chandra to, to dig line because if they don't know we have Chandra they're not accounting for that 6 damage so now they go to 8 but we still have uh, Raging Ravine and, and Baneslayer to kill them with so they have to play something here now we don't have Raging Ravine that's pretty good it's fine. We can kill Worm Quail. They draw two, though. Send me an angel right now. You can also Gideon negative. Right, but then they get two two worms. I guess we can actually Gideon negative and still keep up. Oh, wait. We just... Oh, they still gain life, I was going to say. They still gain life when they attack Gideon. They get to draw two. And they get two beasts. Eh, it is what it is. I think we're just going to... Do we attack here? You don't have to. Well, the thing is, they go to three, and then they gain... But they kill Gideon. Yeah, we are at 22. We're actually fine. We can sit here. Oh, man. This game felt really close to now. They paid for the echo. I'm okay with that. Well, they're probably going to put Clamp on it, so we have to block it. And they also want to kill Gideon, so they attack with everything, so... But we get to go to 27, so that's pretty cool. 
Send me your name right now. Right now. Hey man, you got that angel I was looking for? No. Oh. Let's get rid of the lifelink one so they gain, don't gain life. How about that? Yep. And they don't draw cards. Everybody wins. And we gain life. Get in, you dead. I'm sorry. I still think we're doing fine. That's I don't care about that. That, does nothing. that actually helps us. Oh my god, that was actually great for us. <gasps> That's pretty good too. We get Gruel Signet back or Raging Ravine. Probably like. I think that might seal the deal for us. Yeah, we have three minutes and 38 seconds. We have How do we have so much less time than they do? I think it's because we have to do more math than they do. They just turn their guys sideways, and we have to figure out um, how not to die. Raging Ravine is a mountain, but it still gives us a third land to be able to shoot them once, which is relevant. So does Gruul Signet. I'd play uh, fast. Shut up, nerd. Yeah, we'll get the Ravine back here. Because Signet, we can get back next turn and still actually use it if Sun Titan survives. All right, so this guy... <laughs> I'm sorry, Michael. I didn't mean to, mean to tell you to shut up, nerd. My name is Jeff. I'm sorry, Jeff. This is a mountain. Look at this. Look at this legendary land creature god mountain. That's also a forest, a colorless forest. All right, that's pretty good. Um, red, red. Yes, I will repay, and I will shoot you in the face. <laughs> I didn't think that one through. <laughs> oh, got him. Okay, you got, you got it. it. Zero on the stack. Woo! Chain lightning, my boy. That was pretty good. That's how you earn yourself another draft. Thank you guys so much for watching on YouTube. Really appreciate it. If you guys haven't done so, hit those like and subscribe buttons. And I'll see you next time.